Hello, hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. And I'm doing this live again. Yeah, it's live, man. So, only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And what else? I don't know, don't... Don't parachute when you listen to it. Because then you may not know when to open the parachute and you might land on your head. So that wouldn't be good. What else? Um, it's basically just about being careful, really. I mean, I personally think that I've got an extremely exciting voice, but not everyone else does. Agree with that. Which means that uh, because of that reason, some people might need to be careful in case they fall asleep or get tired Andre's doing the biggest poo ever what are you doing mate it's all that chocolate you've been eating not supposed to eat chocolate so if you want to chat you can Skype me on What can you Skype me on? Buddhist J. B U D D H I S T J A Y. You can send me messages on there as well if you fancy. You can also contact me on Facebook. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Jason Newland Hypnosis. And what I need to do. How do I do this? I need to share this, don't I? How do I share it? Oh. Well, that's a bit strange. Okay, I have to go to Spreaker then. It's always the same, isn't it? It always starts off really lame. And then... Doesn't really get, doesn't really get much better than that, really, does it? It's... Kind of stays lame, really, in a way. Yeah, yes. So this is on the Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast. So hopefully, it's live now, so you should. It's only been broadcasting for four minutes. This is 107. So what I need to do is share it so people can Come along and listen. Listen to the wonderfulness of this. So share it on Facebook. That's it. Live now. So I'll post that on Facebook. It takes ages when I want it to go quick. It's like anything, isn't it? And then when you want something to take, when you want something to go quick, it takes ages. You know, like Valentine's night and it's the adverts and you just want to, you know, you want to get what you need done before the next, before the start of the programme. You know, you thought, well, the last programme finished, the adverts should last a little bit longer, so it should get a good three or four minutes 
of time to be romantic, but uh, then the adverts seem to come on quicker, quicker than you. Come on, sit. So I'll post it there. Never organised. I never know what I'm going to do from one second to the to the next. It's one of the <laughs> the exciting parts of being me. Yes. Don't worry. This isn't going to last for a long, long time. This is just going to be a general. Let me boy to sleep. But I thought, let's see if anybody wants to join in. If they don't, then they can go. They can not do it up to them I suppose if I was live at the same time every day it would make more sense wouldn't it it'd be easier for people to kind of know where I am but there you go that's just just the way it is sorry so where are we? Oh, I'm tired after all that. So you can call me on Skype. And I've left my mobile phone completely free so you can call through. And the mobile phone is close to where I my microphone is. So you can talk to me on there. So it's Buddhist J. Or I need to... Just download the app for Facebook. Facebook. So just download that. And I'll also download Messenger, which means if you want to, you can contact me, phone me on Facebook. And talk to me. And you don't have to do it on camera because I won't be looking at the camera. Just do it on the phone. Just, you know, the phone signal, the phone image. And just call me. We'll have a little chat, see how you're getting on. Remember to keep it boring because this is a boring recording. Yes. I don't know why I've come back to this. Because last night was a bit rubbish. Let's, let's face it. Did the uh, let me bore you to sleep yesterday, and it lasted for nearly three hours. Incredibly boring. And then I was in a bad mood all day. <laughs> Didn't even know I was in a bad mood. To be fair. Until I spoke to my brother on the phone and I realised that I was in a proper crappy mood. So I don't think he'll be phoning me for a while. And then... I've got a chat here. Chats? Calls? So you should be able to send me messages as well on Skype. So it should be fine. And so Facebook. Uh, six overreacted to something. To my picture. Which Sebastian did. Lovely. So what I'll do now is. I will download the app for. Um, what's it called? Do you know the one where you talk to people? Um, well, I don't know, whatever it's called. So I'll be downloading that one, Facebook. And then... I just want to see how this is going to go. You know when you're kind of like, oh, what's going to happen? Facebook, Messenger. So I've already got these downloaded kind of they're just like in the cloud it's gonna have to be redone so what I'm doing 
is I'm recording this on the tablet instead of my phone, which is what I normally use. Still using a microphone and that. And okay. So you can contact me. Uh, phone number also. Uh, okay, cool. So you can contact me on my Facebook. So it's facebook.com Jason Newland Hypnosis. Go to that page and then just click on. What is it? I don't know. So I sent a little message to Sebastian. Hopefully it's, it's a text message, so hopefully it won't wake him up. It's not my intention to wake anybody up. But, so let's say if I go to, if you go to my page, let's say if I go to someone else's page, I should be able to see then what I'm doing. So, so I go to... Uh, Rachel's page so it should give me okay message so if I click on the message the message sign it then gives me the option to at the top of the page top of the little pop-up a camera to video chat we don't want to pest that because I don't want to video chat with you and um, video call because no one else is going to see you to video uh, but if you just press the voice call which is the little telephone for those of us who are over 30. Remember what that used to look like. Start a voice call, click on that, and you'll come through. And I'll answer it and you'll be live broadcasted if you want. If you don't want, then that's also fine. Uh, and Skype Buddhist J. Uh, and if you want to leave a message, you can leave a message on my Facebook page just to say hi and I will pass your message on to all the wonderful listeners. And the thing is, even though there may not be many people listening live while it's being broadcast, people do listen afterwards. I'll just let you know. I do know that. I've got the stats. People do listen. They really do. Um all three, all, all three of the people. Or you could contact me on Twitter. Because you can, can't you? Yeah, my Twitter is J Twitter forward slash Jason, uh, twitter.com forward slash Jason Newland. So how do you phone somebody on here because you can can't you I'm pretty sure let's have a quick look there's gotta be a way to contact the people yay yay but yesterday I think I put a bit of pressure on myself oh, I'm going to do three hours I'm going to do a live session for three hours like you know what I need to chill out I don't need to do a three hour session I don't need to do anything. Only if I want to. It's got to be because I want to do it. And I think that's important. So let me just see. Are you able to contact me on Twitter? So I know you could do live broadcasts because I've done one. Well, I've done a couple, but block report. No, you can't. From the looks of it, you can't contact people, but you can contact me. So you got Facebook and and what's it? Skype. It's enough, isn't it? It's enough. What more do you need? Didn't know you were so amazing. 
So today, today, I was in bed all day. I mean, literally, again, the same as yesterday. Can't do it tomorrow because I've got to got a, an appointment to go to. But today, or yesterday, because officially it's it's now Wednesday, but in my mind it's still Tuesday because I've not gone to bed yet, although I was in bed all day, if that makes sense. I'm going to turn the volume down on the phone just in case someone does ring. It's really loud, and if it rings, you'll hear it ring. Unless I turn the... Actually, you might not do. The ringer might be off. Yeah, I'll turn the ringer off because it will come on. I'll see it. And that'd be cool. No, I'm going to leave the ringer on. Why not have... No, just in case you fell asleep. So I'll have the ringer off. But I'll be looking. No, I'll have the ringer on. Why not? It'll be very low. So I haven't got anyone Skype me yet. Verify your phone number. I don't want to verify my phone number. Go away. What are you doing? Clicked on chats and it's talking about phone numbers. I don't want that. I don't want it. No. Go away, stop here. No. So I'll move out of that. So you've got Skype and we've got Facebook Messenger. So if anybody wants to chat with me, whether you're in the UK or whether you're elsewhere in the world, you can call. Of course, don't call if it's not live. Um because you won't get through. Actually, you probably will get through, in all fairness. The phone will ring, but I always have my phone on silent when I'm not actually... Oh, what's that? Okay. When I'm in bed or if I'm doing something else. In fact, most of the time the phone's on silent. So it might ring, but I won't hear it. Uh, so yeah, and also for tweets, oh man, I don't have tweets, I have I have the ability to tweet, not tweet, texting, I have the ability to text and to receive texts because it's a mobile phone and I think most phones do have that ability as far as I'm aware for the last 20 odd years, however, I don't have the even either a buzzer or any kind of sound that goes off when I receive a message, a text message, because it infuriates me. <laughs> it really does. It's. I've been in a room where people were texting each other in the same room, sitting next to each other, texting each other. And all you hear is you know, it's constantly all the way through. So I'm trying to watch Gladiator. Shush. I'm trying to do a poo. Shush. You're distracting me. Because the whole of my body gets infuriated with the texting. And you know what will happen, I think, with time. The more I do these live, the more... You'll be able to listen to me and think, you know what? The only way to stop this bloke talking is to call up. It's the only way I'm going to stop him talking absolute crap. It's 
it's the only way. Um, so if you do phone, make sure you turn the sound down on the radio, speaker, the speaker, whatever, uh, however you're listening to this um, when you do phone because there is a delay. I'll just let you know that. And what I might do now, because I live a, such an exciting life, I'm going to get rid of Twitter because there's no really point having Twitter up. So you could leave messages on Twitter, but I don't. St- you can. You can leave if you want to leave a message on Twitter. So it seems that I've got a message. I don't know who it's from. So if you'd like to say hello, you're free to let me bore you to sleep. Hello. You're very, very low. I don't know if you can speak up. (laughs) I can hear you very, very faintly. Oh, it's gone. I think I'm going to class that as a very, very low quality. I wonder why it was... What I'm going to do is see if I can get him back on the phone. So, I was wondering if you could... The volume is very, very low, so I'm going to figure out why the volume is so low on this. Oh, I know why. Okay, the speaker was off. I see, I see uh, an, a pleasant man showing up on camera. I see a ceiling and the sun, or, or is it a lamp? Now I see a bold, a, a bold pate. Bold. And some pubis. <laughs> now I see some uh, some door. Are you you sound a bit like? Uh, oh, it's you. I don't hear you. Whatever you do, it seems to have to be on your end because actually, yes, I sound Skype. No, it's all right. I can hear you. I didn't have to let the speaker on. I guess it has to do because. Wait, no, no, this. No, it's because I didn't have this. Yeah. Can you hear me? Stop. <laughs> right. Now I'm hearing you. I, I, it was me all along. I had the wrong. Hello, Nuri. Okay, well, we'll start again. Hello, thank you for calling through. Um, Hello. So, what's your name then, please? My name is Sebastian. The the Sebastian. Oh, you're not the Sebastian. Perhaps. I've heard of you. Hopefully, ho- hopefully not not too bad things. All all bad. <laughs> all bad. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, I'm all right. It's been a weird day. I was in bed all day. I was just saying, um, I just didn't. I just I had a real lack of energy, like proper physical energy. Yeah. And I think yeah. I think the the gods the gods must have embraced, or or the stars must have the line because we are having a low at the same time. It seems. Yeah. It's. The thing is, I might have said this to you before. I might have said this on, you know, bearing in mind, I don't want to talk too much about anything. I want to keep it light because it is the the bore, let me bore you to sleep thing. Yeah. But I've noticed that when I don't see anybody, if I don't have any contact with anybody, I'm not always completely in tune with how I feel. Because there's different levels of being in tune. There's the physical side. I can tell how I physically feel. Yeah. I can tell how I feel in a sense of um, doing the things that I normally do when I'm on my own. Yeah. But when it comes to social 
interaction, that's when I'm, I don't know until it happens. So basically what you are saying is you have to be an asshole to someone so you know that you act like an asshole. No, no, but uh, to be fair, it has happened. Um, I try, I don't know that I'm, it's going to sound weird, but sometimes I don't realize I'm angry at the world <laughs> until, uh. until I have a conversation with someone and then I have this, and it's an irrational anger, you know, it's irrational, yeah. but um, it's like, wow, I didn't even know that was there. And it, I had a little bit of that earlier today. And I wanted to, there's a lot of energy I wanted to let go of, but it was the wrong person. I get what you mean, because I have it similar, but vice versa, uh, or the other way around. Because I tend to be angry all day. Mm. And then I have human interaction even if it's just, you know, uh, being at the groceries and, and the cashiers, you know, just basic, most basic human interaction. And all of a sudden, I realize, because I was friendly to someone, you know, just suddenly I am elevated again. I realize, wow, what was this, this grumpy, this anger and this, and this grumpiness all about? And I fear, I fear it has to do, in my case, don't know, it has to do much more with isolation than I uh, would like to admit. I, I, I think, yeah, no human contact at all is not working either. Well, you annoyed me the other day. Oh, how? No, no it's just because something you said about being isolated. And my first reaction was, I'm not isolated. But actually, the reality is I am much more isolated than I really want to admit. Yeah. And I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen anybody since Saturday. And that was a very brief, like, neighbour asking me, a you know, knocking on my door, asking to, to me to look after their dog. And that was it. And then before that, I haven't had any conversations with anybody in person yeah. really other than going to the supermarket on Thursday to, and you know um, when it's, when the person behind the ca you know the cashier says uh, can I take that carrier bag so I need to scan it through so you charge to charge yeah. you that's not really classed as a conversation is it well uh, you can you can make that happen though because I tend you know I am a talker I talk much, and um, I, I, I tend to have a little uh, small talk thingy going on, you know, not, not, not in, the, in the way of uh, that I start suddenly to uh, go indecent on, the, on that person, you know, <laughs> or weird. I'm not, I'm not starting to talk about my, my uh, masturbation that I had this morning. Family show, family show. Yeah, no, 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 I just wanted to point out, uh, no, I'm <laughs> just like, I'm, I'm just like, well, have a, you know what, the, the weird thing is, I'm, I'm a misanthropist, you know, I, I, I hate it, like, like, I, I'm like Daniel Plainview, I hate most people, sometimes I look at people, and I see nothing worth liking. And uh, uh, but but in fact, I always ca uh, catch myself being quite depending on being friendly to people, as in, yeah, being depending on it. I mean, if I'm I'm a total jerk at the counter and and, and aggressive. No, no, not not that. No, 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 no one else can see what I'm doing in the camera, don't worry. Ah, all right, all right. No, I mean, no, I'm, if I, I act like that. Yeah, yeah, Nuli, I know you, you like No, carry, that. carry on, like carry, carry on, no one else can see, it's all right. Just. But, but, but I see it, and that's also not, not, not lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot, I forgot you were human, carry on. Uh, yeah, sometimes. No, I'm, uh, I realise, of course I have to be 
pleasant because if I act like a total uh, a, a butthole or something, then I, I might get thrown out of the store. Or, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just can't. Also, it would be a bit odd if I, if, if I walk up to the counter and, and present them with my groceries and then I would start my misanthropic rants about what I would do if I would be the king or the prime minister of UK, how I would proceed to release certain inmates of Broadmoor onto public institutions. No, I don't want to go on with my... But you know where the drill. So, no. I know the drill. I, I like, I like, in fact, to cause others to feel better. Not, not better, but I, 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 I'm an opportunist of... of Emotions. Anyway, uh, le let's say last. Did I tell you when I was at the uh, supermarket at the Aldi uh, for a couple of weeks, and there was this drunk lady, very drunk. Do you remember that one? Uh, no, I can't remember. It was it was five minutes to ten o'clock in the evening when they close, and you know I was basically the last person in there with a couple and when i came to the checkout the, the lady i noticed that lady of that couple was totally off her well she don't, she was really drunk yeah and in a situation ensued that was beyond because she stood there and, and had a she bled you know drunk people are unpleasant she bled, bled insults like you cannot throw me out I still have one minute left to pay. Um, so, and, and that, that, that built up. The cashier got frustrated more and more and more. And she, you can't believe it, she had her, her uh, life partner with her. And he was also not like uh, an established member of society. <laughs> you know. And I think I know what you mean when you say that, but um, he was, he was, he was, he was in, in fact something like her, her slave, or because she told him to pay, and 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 then the situation got even more out of hand because that guy wasn't the brightest uh, bulb in the store, in the electro store, he he couldn't cough up the money. I, I mean, it's it's three three past closing time, the cashier is tired and 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 uh, aggressive. And he holds it back. And there's this drunk lady blaring insults at him. And, and the, the dude with her cannot k come up with a, with a simple amount of, I don't know, 750. He came up with little, with little uh, coins, you know, the, the small coins, the one cent coins. Okay, yeah. Didn't work. Now, now it gets even better. She, he turned to her, looked at her, and she was like, don't think I'll pay any cent for you today. I've spent it all. Now, can you imagine? She, she put her purse, her bag, her handbag on, on the cashier, on the counter. She opened it and, and pulled out a brand new, a brand new smartphone. All right, yeah. A golden one at, on top, like... Like in the in the packaging or still, uh, she was like, "I for this." The cashier was so he was desperate. He was, uh, "Where's my shotgun? I need to exterminate these people." <laughs> then she opened up the package the packaging and started to unbox the smartphone. Meanwhile, her dude was fumbling around with his uh, 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 purse and and and. Uh, when he suddenly just, uh, had a outburst. Oh, I have a, a here we have, a, there's a, you know, there's a tenner, then there's a fiver. What is the 100 called? What? When, when, you, when you have 10, uh, 10 bucks and it's a tenner, and then you have an five bucks and it's a fiver. Yeah. What is, what is 100 called as a colloquial term? What, ton? 
would be like over here, but a uh, hundred. We call it, we, we call it a honey. So he pulled out a honey, and then he was like, I have this, I have this. And then he proceeded to pay his, their, 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 their small uh, 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 grocery bill of like seven something with 100 bucks on top of the whole situation. So eventually that was solved and the cashier was sitting there with like face red with anger. And this is where I was coming at, you know, I'm, no, I didn't come at his, uh, never mind. You didn't, okay. I was, uh, I realized I wanted to be nice to this guy. I, I realized he just is way over his, uh, 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 shift time and he still needs to make uh, count the money and, and he won't be home for another hour oh. and so I waddled to him and I said look I don't have that much and I have my card here to pay I'm going to be quick and I, I soothed him with a little bit of <laughs> you know. I waddled over I waddled over to him said that I'd be very quick and I soothed him I just want yeah. that sound bite I just want I that sound not, I, I tried to console him. I tried to, to console him that now the, the, the bad part is over and now I am there. And Just let you know, uh, uh, we don't have £100 notes in England. Well, soon you might have again. Because no, we, we don't. I thought we did, but we don't. We have 5, 10, 20 and 50. We used to have £1 notes, but they got rid of them probably about 30 odd years ago. And have you any uh, better, uh, any bigger than 100 notes, like 500s or t or something, or just... Uh, they do, apparently, according to this, I'm just, I just Googled it, higher valued banknotes do exist, such as the 1,000, that's a million pound giant, and the 100 million titan. Okay. Uh, so I'm thinking that's more probably for... I can't imagine going into a shop and buying some Maltesers with a, a million pound note. It, uh, un 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 unbelievable, isn't it? Guaranteed. Uh, uh, if there was, if we did have hundred pound notes, people would use them on the buses. They would to I, buy a bus ticket. Guaranteed. I, I believe so too. I believe so too. Yeah. And and I was like, I tried to be, I tried to 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 respect his position, and I tried to tell him, I know. You want to go home, and now you can. And you know, I was so successful in doing that. I was not out of the store, like ten feet out of the store. This guy started screaming to his colleague. This, eh, <clears throat> he started to scream, and he was so out of control because he was so upset with what happened. And I was like, well, at least I did not contribute to that. At least I, I was polite. At least I made it quick for him. Yeah. Know? And um, what I'm trying to say is I probably very much contributed to his outburst because on top of all that, I rented him down with my suave charm. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> want to probably. I think it's weird. It's in those situations, I can't get involved in that stuff. I'd... I have to just let other people get involved, and I, I just yeah, you're embarrassed for them. Um, yeah, a little bit. It's like you know what? We've all got that in us. We all get frustrated, but to completely lose all sense of reality in that moment is is kind of probably that the, the last thing they need is me getting involved. Really, <laughs> I'm probably not going to be useful to them. But I can't. I can't help. I couldn't help myself. That's what I wanted to say. I'm a misanthropist and I'm like uh, avoiding people and isolating. But just being a little small talk here and a little nice. I like to. I'm, it's weird. I like to be nice to st strangers in a way. I like to make people feel valued. It, it's like. Um, when I, 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 I go for, sh for shopping or so, I like to make that feel that person, uh, un unless they're an, a nuisance or they are <laughs> a job. You know what I pulled off? 
Did I tell you about that? You want me to guess what you pulled off? Go on then. Uh, I had. Uh, when I was in school, we had a meeting, and it was at a um, a burger joint here at a train station. And I I can't stand that burger joint. It's just like not not good and expensive. And you know what I did? I uh, after in, afterwards, I'm, I was so embarrassed. And, and and that stuck with me. All of my class, they saw that, they noticed that, and then I had my, uh, yeah, I, my reputation. I, I, the, you the what? Came, you're missing. You're missing out something there. What? What did you? What did you do? Yeah, the waitress came and presented me with my bill. Yes. And it was um, four ninety nine or something ninety nine. Well, I decided to be. Benevolent, and um, paid the full uh, sum. Not as in, you know, if 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 I owe you four ninety nine, yeah, and I give you five, what would you think? As in, here's a good tip for you, baby. I would think um, I need to get myself a better job. Probably. She was. Why, thank you, Mr. Such Friendliness. <laughs> and, and, and I even thought she would... I, I even thought, wow, yeah, she meant that. Did you and believe wow, her? You believed her? I, I felt so good with myself and so proud. Look, I'm, I'm, I, I tip. And then I noticed the faces of, of, of my other uh, classmates and they were all like, okay. Um, yeah, and I was like, hey, what's up? And, and then it dawned on me, but then, you know, just between you and me, I did that fully intentional because I hate that f- place. What? How old was you at the time? That was last year. <laughs> 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 Your sc- was it really last year? Because you were at college, weren't you? It wasn't last year, was it? Yes, it was last year. <laughs> <laughs> See, I... S- when end I of, s- end of 2017, <laughs> yes, it was end of 2017 when we uh, discussed our trip to Amsterdam last year. When and you that, when that, you were that saying was, that, when you were saying that, I honestly thought you said when you was at school, I thought you was like ten years old, yeah, and but, but, for you, you actually it was the first time you'd ever gone out in public with your friends. You got a burger. And see, you know that I have been to school for the last three and a half years because uh, of, of, of this nonsense idea of getting me a high school degree. And, yeah, so, imagine that. <laughs> and, but in the first moment, I felt nice. I thought, I, I, I did, perhaps I did not fully realize it was the amount. I thought um, the amount was like... Uh, 50 or 20 and I would uh, round up to a good um, amount of tipping but no it was just one cent yeah wow well do do, what I was thinking is that's funny I'm just just, I'm just kind of I don't know what to do with this whole live broadcasting it's, yeah. it's it's all a bit weird it's like a very interesting point and that's what caused me to call you up <laughs> I, like, I like how you how you have the pop filter is that a pop filter? no oh uh, yeah that, no there over there yeah I'm aiming the camera for some reason you put the camera on yet you haven't got the camera on yourself uh, so no, it's not plugged in, I guess. So, um, so I've just aimed the camera across the room. Anywho, you mentioned um, yeah, burn, overburdening yourself, and let me tell you, I want to agree. It's easier to um, to make up a fully done show, but try to fill one hour. Try, and if you are at on air in a real radio station and the um, there are real listeners and you have a re- reputation to create sound 
that keeps the listeners so long until the commercials come on. Yeah. It's it's hard. It's hard. Well, I'm I suppose I'm not really aiming to do that. It all this is is just a live version of the Let Me Bore You to Sleep. And I've done live versions on Facebook. Uh, as you know, you've been on them. You've even still, been. You need you still you you encounter the problem. Although you're very good at rambling for one hour, incoherently boring stuff. But try not to push you to to an amount where it becomes. Yeah, you know. Sometimes even the boringness is becoming so boring that you can't put it up anymore. And 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 also, yeah, it's a strain. If you, I told you, you need, I think you need to stick more to a routine as in every second day I do this for an hour. And yeah. So do I. But yeah, don't go like it, it's like with me at my gym. You know, do you do your thing? I've gone again after that one stint. Ha! And and even if it would be foolish to do a full four hour full on workout now, why? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. That would just ruin you, wouldn't it? Yeah, and, and also, you know, something else, and I, I would know because it's about our bipolar thing. When bipolar is is raging and you don't, you just don't feel like anything, yeah? Um, that's why probably a job at a radio station for me could be a little bit problematic. I mean, they are... They are professional fakers, yeah. You know, they have to be cheering about music they probably privately dislike. And uh, I bet you, hundred percent. Yeah, because the stuff they play, the utter, utter, utter shite. Uh, I, I can't believe that they are so enthusiastic in real life about it. Um, but no, I could not. I could not, not because of honesty or so, but if I have a bad day, oh boy, you know, and I can't, I can't go uh, on air and then tell the people all, well, I hope you get cancer and don't call me. Yeah, shut off your fucking radios, you. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I cannot puke go on air. Um, Again, uh, family show. Yeah, I try to keep it nice and short. No, I cannot puke into people's ears, and that would be a problem because then again, it's a, it's a job which I have to fulfill at least a couple of times a week, and I just can't call in and tell them, oh, I am in a horrible mood today, I cannot be nice. But maybe it's, I still hope that there is a radio station that needs some anarchy and, and some utter, utter irrational chaos and they they call me and say you know whatever mood you're in even if you just uh terrorize our listeners for one hour as long as you do it but yeah it's hard it's hard even if i'm not but i'm not that kind i'm not that kind of person i'm not drive yourself don't drive yourself to something you i'm not but i'm not years and years ago i remember one of my best friends he said to me i said i'd this is when I was doing a comedy in the 90s and I said I'd quite yeah. like to do a radio show or something like that. And he said I, I wouldn't be any good at that because he lived with me at the time. And he said, your moods are just too, too great. You know, I mean, they're just, you're too yeah. up and down to be you're swings, yeah. too unstable to be <laughs> hosting a, a happy radio show. That's the truth, and and so it is for me. Also, those guys, those professional comedians who have to do a one-year tour of every night humor and fun, I bet even if they have their own depressions to struggle and something, they have learned it. They have learned to mask it, or they have a like a second personality they can switch to. Drugs. Um, Drugs and alcohol. Yeah, of course. I, I have as well. Yeah. I've been in a lot of backstages uh, in the recent years, and yeah, of course. I've known. I, I never realised that was going on because when I do comedy, I I used to smoke, you know, weed and stuff. Yeah. Um, 
but I didn't drink alcohol hardly ever. But my only, that was my way of trying to control my moods and trying to control how I was feeling. The thing is, the, here's what I would do. I would do a really good gig. So I'd go on stage and I'd really do well and it'd be a free one. But out of that, the club owner would offer me a paid gig in maybe yeah. four, five, six months time. And I'd like, and they'd give, and I'd say, brilliant. And they'd give me 10 minutes on stage and I'd get paid for it. I'd turn up six months later and depending on what mood I was in, sometimes yeah. I'd go on and I wouldn't even do any material. I'd just go on and just start swearing at everyone. And be, <laughs> ser- I would, seriously. And, and they laughed, let me guess. Not always. I closed a few clubs down. Some <laughs> clubs closed down because of me. Seriously, I'm not even joking. Um, really? Did yeah. you have that sway? Did you have that sway to uh, offend people so hard that the clubs went bankrupt over it? Well, some of the clubs were just um, rooms rented in a pub. So they weren't, I didn't close down businesses as such. <laughs> But sometimes like I'd, I'd go in and the landlord of the pub would say, you're not coming back anymore to the club. The person that had the comedy said, we're not yeah. having you here anymore because I've gone into pubs and emptied the entire place. I understand. I understand you were too, too boring and, and too no. obnoxious. Obnoxious, not boring. Probably boring wouldn't be the word. But, um, and they can't have uh, it. They want people to, They want people to drink. They wanted people. They wanted people to laugh. They wanted people. It's it's comedy. It's supposed to make people laugh. And I was not always out there to make people laugh. Sometimes I wanted to annoy people. Did I ever tell you that story where I had delusions of grandeur with that Russian bar? That was, was this was that, this last week? No, that was. Way, uh, almost like 20 years ago, thank God, when I did my first job training as an office clerk. Oh, can I just you know? interrupt before you go any further? Yeah. Please. Just so I know this is a, a legitimate interruption, not like my normal interruptions where I just do it to annoy you. Um, yeah. For those of you listening, you can listen to this on my website, jasonnewland.com. It's streaming live on there. So just, just so anyone listening live now... <laughs> I don't know. It's anyway. Get w- carry. Ca- www.jasonnewland.com. No, newland.com. Newland. New land. It's written N E U L N E W L A N. Do you? Are you telling me how my surname is spelt? Because I do know. Yeah, no, I, I was uh, uh, making because you had this, you, you complained about how the way I spoke it. So I, 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 I spelled it correctly so people know I know that it's Newland. Yeah, but when you, when you send me messages, you, you spell it N-O-O-L-A-N-T. Yeah, yeah, that's my special way. That's, my, that's the, 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 the way I told you already. That's the way a boss addresses his underling. Newland, come here, Newland. <laughs> Oh my god, no one's ever called me their underling before. <laughs> that sounds that sounds too close to underpants. I don't um, know, just oh Newland Like 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 a Gordon Ramsay. You there Oh I, I've you. I have been shouted at in the past. Yeah, so yeah. Uh as I was saying, now you can this is the story you might never have heard before and this is the one I'm not uh, I'm not too uh, proud of but then again look at my zazz back then look what i was able to do with myself uh s- no self-esteem but happy go lucky just try out um i was uh, had, i had my job training back then and i had a, a russian uh, friend not russian he was from kazakhstan and he became my best pal over these years, and oh boy, every week, and we were so, you know, as as they do, we were drinking, it was no fun anymore. Uh, if I say I missed out on everything in my life, but I did not miss out on alcohol, I have that interest uh, settled. That field of living has been explored well with me. Okay. You know? So, uh, yeah. And uh, at one point, it, it, he, he 
he found a, a, a bar where he went every evening and, and it became annoying because it it became his like his, his living room and it was a Russian, a typically, typically Russian joint. Have you ever been in a Russian bar? I haven't. It's, it's, it's more cliche than you would believe. Yeah? When you see perhaps Russian, uh, 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 Russian mafia bars or something in, in a movie, it's really like that. Can I, can, I, can I list you all the different bars that I've not been in? Oh, well, which you have been thrown out. No, not that I've been just all the different foreign bars that I've not been in. I've not been in a Russian bar. I've not been in a Chinese bar. I've not been in a Bulgarian. I have been in a Bulgarian bar, so that's wrong. I have been. Uh, okay. I've not been in a an American bar. I've not been. You know, you're supposed to stop me at some point because you know I, I will you, go on. No, yeah, but it's not an Amer- American bar. It's a, a bar in America. Also, uh, uh, isn't it? An American bar. I wanted to just, just to say, yeah, we we don't have these. It's it's really specifically te- specifically to the U.S. These really American diners. We only have cheap imitations here. They they can't do it as they do it really in America. Well, I've so, never been to America, but I love the idea of. Do you know the diners? We've seen them. It's, it's a yeah. cliche in movies. I don't know how real how real it is if there really are that many diners, but they all seem to look the same. I would love to. Don't they? To, I would love to have this experience. A highway in America, and then there is one of these, you know, these these typical highway diners. This long shaped uh, metal houses and 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 where you yeah. can have coffee and cake and burgers and that's what I would love to pancakes eat. and pie pancakes. pie uh, different cut types of pie. It's pancakes houses. They call it pancake oh, houses, okay. right? I would love that. But do you notice that I'm sure they film in the same place in nearly all the American shows, the films, everything where they've like Tarantino, uh, it's just endless the amount of where they pull up to the to the diner and it looks yeah. the same. It's the you you go in and the yeah, yeah, the, the count is on the right hand side and the seats are on the, the left. Same. They do all look the same. It's probably uh, to to make it really boring and technical. It's probably like with uh, uh, ca- uh, caravans. It's uh, a, a couple of um, a couple of uh, companies who build these places and who rent them or where you can buy them. And it, since it has this uh, traditional oblongated shape, you know, yeah. it's like a caravan with no with no uh, wheels on it. Um, I don't I don't think any. Um, American diner owner has a choice in making it look like a pair of oh. balls, or, <laughs> you know. Like, I mean, I mean, footballs or tennis balls. Um, <laughs> they, 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 are, they are stuck in their way. In that regard. Hey, yeah, hey, children, was, let's go. Daddy, saying, Daddy, can we go to the diner? No, they all look the same to me, son. I'm fed up with. Wait a minute. There's one that looks like a big ball sack. Let's go there. Daddy, yeah. what's a ball sack? Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I showed you in the bathroom last night. No, God, that's wrong now. I was going to say something to that extent, but I kept my mouth shut this time and you ruined it. That's what you no. told us to do, Daddy. <laughs> So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'll show you tonight. I'll show you tonight. No, let's let's move on. I I. What was I going to say? I'd like tell me your story another time because we're coming to the end of the hour. No, it's, it's really worthwhile. Listen to it. It's short. It's not not really big. Okay. Well, it it was a, as I said, a Russian joint. The 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 
the owner was very unfriendly and greedy and and the, the people were all like really I, i'm not meaning to to debase russian people but it was I, i was like one fucking move in here and one guy gets out a kalashnikov it, it was not a friendly happy bright place you know okay and uh, i i was dragged in there and 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 what the f my friend started to, you know sebastian he's a musician and he has keyboard he makes music so good um well he before long and before i even had my senses together to tell like um well i i, I know how to play but i'm not a professional but can you imagine i was contracted and i did, had one you, to prepare a set of tunes to, oh wow to play at that bar for a crowd of anti-social alcoholics and old people why did you go back um why did i go back because back then i had like no no uh uh, uh bo 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 bows to say no and then uh, I thought, wow, I, you know, I, I have this problem when I start a job. I don't see myself in a realistic way at the end, at the low end of the ladder. I always see myself, you know, basically being a success and a boss. And so it went then. I, 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 oh, I thought myself to be the next, well, whatever, where that day came. And uh, I was telling them, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. And they basically threatened me, as in, but next week you will. <laughs> that, that's by. a point where you leave the country. Do you not know uh, that? No, no, no. It gets worse. Another week went by. And uh, did I, did I f fuck all? I did nothing. I did nothing to prepare myself. What was there to prepare? I knew two or three songs to... Yeah. So, you know something stupid, that song. Oh, something yeah, yeah, stupid. yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, that's something, I know, I know. that's something you would hear, that's something people who are elderly in a nursing home would enjoy. And this time it's a correct, I use this word correctly, elderly people, people in their late 80s. So... That was a, basically the only song I could cover up. And one week passed, and they came again to transport my keyboard and everything. JJ, I, I did it. I did that. I'm, I went through with it in all seriousness. I placed myself in this ungodly bar. Yeah. And I managed to play something stupid. Next thing I know... And, I don't know, even know if it was a lady. It was just a horrible sight. <laughs> With a stench of alcohol. Don't play this. Please don't play no granny shit. No granny shit. Please play something more the uh, dancey dancey. Now, I had this little problem. I was out of all ideas and all out of tunes. You know, I could not. Let's just say... <sighs> It was all over. It was all over very quickly. I. Uh, uh, the thing is, uh, uh, the the owner had no reason to be hateful with me because I he didn't pay me. So I had he given me money up front, but he didn't. So no 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 one was at a loss. But I was so ashamed, and that stuck with me. That was Sebastian trying to be the big man. Wow. Yeah. In a in a in a not so friendly environment. And, and that was the only time. And you've you just shared that with potentially thousands of people. Yeah, it's not a problem because I did it and what I did I can you know, it's not ah, may I say this, should I say this? You know, it's not let's just say I did not talk to, to, to toddlers in an inappropriate way. It's nothing I should be ashamed of. It was a It was a stupid idea. I shouldn't have done it. I, 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 uh, what's the way, what's the word when you think that you're more capable of doing something than you really are? Um, I, arrogant? 
more just overconfident, really, isn't it? Yes, really? I was overconfident, you know. And now at 35, where I have my, well, I still couldn't play a whole 90 minute set for people with a keyboard. Never, never worked out in that area so so far. But now that I have more skills in in overall life, I have so little confidence in myself. It's it's a shame. Where has it gone? You know. I don't know. Well, we're coming to the end. Yeah. Of um. It just reminds me of my catchphrase. Um. Don't mistake kindness for interest. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. I will leave with you. Um, oh. I, I I can only say indeed, indeed, and uh, yeah, dear male listener, just because she undresses herself in front of a webcam because you paid her virtual money does not mean she wants you to come to her house and uh, engage actually in physical activity with you. And also, she's not a woman, she's a man called Sebastian dressed up in a wig and a basque and she he doesn't want the illusion to be splattered. I am not, I am not into... I am not into transvestite dress up. That's you. No, dress up is the difference between dressing up is dressing up. If you're dressing up for fun, it's not, it's not, there is no word for it. It's just play, play and dressing up. Yeah, it's make believe. It's make believe. It's just like when I look in the mirror and I, I imagine that I'm a man. <laughs> it's make believe, you know? I'd say, yeah. I'd say, it's, I re- I remember, I remember, the, the, I remember the, those times when you get your your suit, that suit you wore the last time when you were fourteen, and uh, when you get your communion suit out and you dress up and then you go with a cheap uh, uh, suitcase in front of the mirror. I am a CEO. I am a success. It's it's make believe and it's good for your emotions. But no, I'm not a transvestite. I did. I never said this. that. I, I have done that with. Um... When I was young, I'd done it with old clothes and put on a shirt that is way too small and pretended I was the Hulk and ri- <laughs> ripped through it. The belly, anyway. My belly rips through it. I've got, I've got one story for you before we go. Yeah. My, what was that noise? My cousin is... Yeah. If you talk about someone that loves to talk to people and gets on really well, my cousin was one of those people. And whenever I went out with him, he was young, he was probably 18, 19, but whenever I went out for a drink with him, he always knew everybody, you know. It was popular. Very popular. So we, we got talking and in the end we, went to, we ended up going to a talent contest. Okay. And this person asked us to be judges. Okay. On a, on a talent contest, judges, me and him, as well as three other people. And there was probably about 10 people singing, maybe a comedian, dancing, stuff like that. And we put in, a, put in the, the reviews at the end, put in the scores, and a couple of blokes came up to us and they said, uh, right, Tracy, I'm, just, I'm making a name up, but it was a little yeah. girl, probably about 10. They said, she needs to win. <laughs> <laughs> As in, she's a child, you cannot, you no, cannot it's, destroy her. No, it turned, well, actually, we already knew, pretty much 80%, 90% of the pub, and there's a lot of people there, were there to watch Tracy. Okay? She had a big oh. fan, fan, she had like her whole family was there. Put it, a family probably run the pub, I don't know. Anyway, they came and said, and this was during the break where we, we'd already done the scores, and they came up. We hadn't announced the scores yet, yeah. and they said, Tracy's going to win. And they said, either Tracy wins, or you don't leave here. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I started, I started laughing. I you said... Sure they were not Italians. Or, no, or, no, they weren't. No, they were. They were. They looked very serious. They said, "You will not get out of here alive if you do." 
it's, they were really like, God, it's a stupid talent show. But I said to him, what? And, he st- and I started laughing. And I said, and he said, do you want to keep your kneecaps? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'll keep my knee. I couldn't stop laughing because I found it so ridiculous. I had no emotional interest in who won the contest. I didn't care at That's all. What- that was what I was going to say. It's just but, but a, it's some, a small, a small contest in a in a sh- sh- bar. Yeah, you know. And I was and used I, to working in a club, a comedy club with professional people, and it's just. And I was just out on my night out, on my night off, and I found it so hilarious that these blokes were being threatening or trying to be threatening when <laughs> I couldn't care. I would have put down. I just. I said to one of them, well, "I could put down that you won if you want." I don't care. <laughs> what do we? What do we care? It's we're not emotionally. It's, yes. But they. It's like they really thought that that it was really important to them. It was probably important. I, I, I suspect it wasn't. It, it wasn't their, their oh. daughter, but it was a patron of the uh, uh, a patron of the club who probably had some clout as in uh, a certain uh, amount of weapons and guns and, uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> this was in the east end it was proper uh, a maybe, rough pub and maybe not only it would have been your knee naps, uh, kneecaps but also theirs so um i guess it was a mutual oppression they were under pressure and they had to pass it on and you know what i did but, you know what i did Instead, because th- instead of doing what they probably thought I was going to do, they probably thought I was going to, we were going to run out, you know, like just like yeah. shuffle off really quickly. I didn't. I stayed all night and I was singing. I did the karaoke and I sang on the karaoke till they closed. I just, and I sung at them. <laughs> I was laughing at them the whole time. I couldn't I mean, stop laughing. It, I found it so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Just the idea of someone threatening me. Or well, trying to like do some kind of veiled threat. Had they smashed or had they shot at your knee, kneecaps, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the story. But I don't think you would have found that funny. No, I'd be able to tell the story if they shot my kneecaps, but I wouldn't have found it funny. I, well, I well, might I do. Have, Twenty years well, later, I might be able to get some humour out of it, but that would have been hilarious, uh, horrible to experience. Well, if I'd but, spent the last twenty years in a wheelchair because of it, yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, another thing I need to tell you, and this is for all your listeners, also a very in- vital information. It is very adding to the goal of this uh, uh, podcast format. It's very boring, and it, it, but it is very vital for me. Today, after uh, uh, a few months after I've ruined my uh, former one, today I've got my brand new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and it is a, it's it's a blast. It, it's more expensive than the last one. Well, it's not supposed and to be a blast, is it? It's supposed to suck. But carry on. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's it's really really fancy and uh, uh, wow, the amount of 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 dust and 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 lint I, I I I see in there after just one good old swipe of the. A uh, whole flat. Uh, I'm ashamed of myself. And and just before you come up with any fancy ideas of uh, how I ruined the former one, you know, as in it's supposed. Well, to I do suck. now. Now I'm thinking. Yeah, carry on. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, it was a. Uh, I love that thing. It had. Uh, it was a combo. It had both. Uh, you could. Can I just stop you there? Can I, is this what it's like for people listening to me? It was. A, it was. Just, a big, this is so boring. It was. It. It had a big. It was a proper vacuum cleaner, but you could remove the the cleaner, and it was like a handheld. You know. Is it, now, but honestly, can you just tell me? Is this what it's like for other people listening to me when I'm talking? Because you're talking about a vacuum cleaner. Why would anyone? It's, it's exactly what you want. It's exactly. It's horribly boring. It's horribly boring. I can't stand it. Yeah, but but listening to not... someone else do it. Be happy, be happy that I contribute to the idea. So, um, and but the thing is, um, the filter of this former vacuum cleaner um, was not 
how can I put it? Well, I, at one point I, I took it out and I should have put it back in. So after a week of not having... Oh God, this to... is so boring. I can't listen anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Suddenly, I don't know. I, don't, I can't. Suddenly, no, no, suddenly stop. The whole... <laughs> this is, this is how, how that felt when you were rambling about houses you live oh in. Oh my God, this is the most boring stuff. Is this really what it's like? Yes. Because I never listen back to any of my stuff. You know that anyway. Also, you don't have someone to challenge you like you do me. <laughs> and I will, I, I will not, I will not falter. I will not give in now. You know, and, 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 and the filter was spinning very fast when you uh, used it. And I forgot it to put it in, ba- uh, to put it back oh, in. God. So after two weeks or a month, suddenly the, 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 the motor of that thing <laughs> It, it was like if you had a real proper electrical drill, like the, you know the heavy the heavy tools where you have on uh, construction sites. Yeah. Like literally having such a thing running directly next to your ear. It was loud, and I was like, "Where that stupid Asian stuff, Asian crap? One month and it's kaput." And then I realized I was the one. Who did not put the filter in? Uh, and to add insult to injury, instead of sending it in for warranty, I tried to fix it. I've well, got an idea. I've got an idea. That was the vacuum cleaner. So, so, so that, we don't come up with um, that. I ruined it with um, your penis. Uh, with with uh, your, pe- your penis. Usage. Your penis. I did, yeah. No. No. Your, no. Your penis. Yeah. It's what you you're talking about. Your well, you said the word abnormal, so I imagine you're talking your penis because that's a bit abnormal, I imagine. Uh, it, that, that is not, not the point here. <laughs> but the point is, yeah, I have a new vacuum cleaner and it's really good. And if they would give me an endorsement or a sponsorship, I would even tell them that but I will not. Right, t- I've got an idea. Was that, wasn't that horrible boring? Really? Boring? It was really boring. I'm surprised. And I, did, I, I wasn't being rude. When I said that, but I just like, wow, that was, that is what I aim at. That's what I'm it's, aiming for. You have no idea how, di- how, how much dichotomy you cause with, with <laughs> some, of, of, some of these things. I lie in bed, I lie in bed and listen to these, to this meaningless, very, very, and I was like, he's provoking me. I, I want to beat him. Why doesn't he shut up? This is boring. He's mentally ill. Well, Only a mentally ill person would troll me with such boring nonsense. And then I realized it's supposed to be. Plus, you're the one who played press play. You know, you're listening to it. You don't have to listen so, to it. And it, 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 it's not like this is the best podcast you'll ever listen to. It's really titled that way. It's boring. But yeah, now you know how that feels. Oh, when God, that are, was awful. When you are targeted by a, a, a pestering voice that is bo- just can, boring. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. That's what I feel a lot, quite a lot when I talk to anybody. When they talk to you. When they talk to me. I, I like monologues. I don't like having to listen to other people. Uh, Jason, um, to don't bring the mood down again, but I think <laughs> similar, similar, similar childhood experiences cause similar um, mental illnesses or maybe, similar... It might um, be. But, it might be. Maybe with you as well. Maybe because I never really felt that I was ever listened to. So maybe and I, 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 I'm also when I have a conversation, unless it's a person I really value or when I'm really want to put my effort yeah. in them. But usually it's like okay, wait, the mouths are still moving, or oh, there's still still sound coming from them. <laughs> still, oh, uh huh, yeah. When I, can I when I when can I bring my message along? Yeah, why do they still talk? They don't they don't see that when I would talk to them it's much more of importance to them. They could learn so much from just listening to me. And then you know also something I have, I don't know if you have it, but you know, people are boring and they, they always <laughs> See stuff I have heard before, and and, and oh, I, people I do people, repeat themselves a lot. I've noticed that. Not, not only that, but 
you know some people um, when I, when I say um, when we talk about a bucket a green bucket that's in the corner and you say fill the bucket with water and I say that bucket over there then I don't need you to look at it and point and say yes that bucket over there exactly that bucket and I'll interrupt you and just walk off and so am I in conversation people I know what they are going to say even if sometimes they want, don't want to say really I just interrupt them I cut them off and then yeah, yeah I know what you mean and then you're like let me talk please please no don't interrupt me well I've, I've allowed you to talk way too much during this recording um, but Maybe just the right amount. I don't know. It's 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 not up to me to say because I will never listen back to this. So this is this is you can have a listen back maybe and see. I've got I've got you on the phone, and I've Remember tried. The and I've, when I called you and I did my uh, special voice and everything, and you had to de- you deleted it right after. Did I? I I still have it, and I it's it's so so nasty. No, the reason I deleted it is because. I the, don't get tired. Now listen, the last the last caller asked me to delete it. She didn't want me to put it on to to, to publish it. Oh, so, oh, you mean the the the, the yeah the the lady at the light. So well, there's no point in me doing the it. The Irish if, lady. Yeah. So I, I'm not. I, I, everything I do is published on YouTube and onto Spreaker, available so it has to. to so it has to be in in uh, concordance with everybody involved. Yeah, but I didn't. I thought that was just standard. Uh, people realise that that's especially if I'm doing it live. You know what I mean? I was. I was. It doesn't was, matter. I, I still have it. And my yeah, point was. My but, point was, if I listen to it, it's horrible. I don't get tired of my own voice. I I enjoy it. I do. I really. I've got very if, tired of your voice. I, I hope, I hope everybody else, because when I listen to my voice, I'm, I'm always like, now that's an interesting voice, that's an interesting person talking. No, oh, no. And you... that's, that's <laughs> a interesting voice. You know, I, I, I cannot, I cannot understand why people loathe their own uh, radio voice. No, I don't, I don't loathe my voice. But the thing is, I know exactly what I sound like. A lot of people don't know what they sound like until they hear themselves back. Because yeah, then, I, I've, then they are like, then they are like, this is what I do sound like. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. But it's not no, in my case. I enjoy it. Yeah, but you, I, I don't know about you, but I've tuned my ears are now tuned, so that I hear my voice exactly the same way as I hear it on a recording, the same way as other people would hear it. So, yeah. but I've done thousands of recordings, so this that's why. That's the truth. You need to learn. Um, that's why also um, a monitoring device in your ear can help you, so you can hear real time what you actually listen, what you actually sound like. Because there's a difference. It's, it's like with singing. You know, when you sing, and um, I, I mean literally, and not literally you, but in in the in the general way, people who sing always think they sound great but when they sing and uh, sing along with with a tune it's the tune that gives them um the illusion of the that they sing as well as the professional singer but they don't you know but and, in my in my situation of course I, I do sound great, so there you go. You, 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 in some of these uh, recordings of yours, I, I, I think maybe someone, someone should just kill the original singer so they can replace Jason with him. You know, <laughs> you are do them. <sighs> right, we I, should we should end it there. If 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 anybody is still listening to this, they are either very mentally ill. Oi, th- stop saying that. Or they are sexually obsessed with me. That or, that might be true. I hope so. Um, and or, or or they are probably very aggravated. But but I believe anybody in their sane sound mind will now have said, "I can't take this anymore. I better sleep." Yeah, it's li- listen to Sebastian or sleep. That's your two so, options. I'd go to sleep. I think. I think. Uh, 
we achieved. It, it, it was constructive. We achieved something. And yeah, give me time, please. I will download it and listen no, to it. I don't worry. I'm not going to get rid of it. This is going. This is live. This will instantly be available on Spreaker. And I'm keeping that one. I even kept last night's one as well, even though I didn't like it. I still kept Your it. Word. See, and now we've gotten all strange. I was telling you about your overburdening yourself with it, you know, where you, what you hinted at. Mm -hmm. And that's also the same. You have a tendency of saying afterwards, this was weird, I didn't like it, and uh, I, I listened to it and found it stupid, and then I deleted it. Don't do it then. Don't listen to yourself. No, I never listened to it. Because what you've what you've said here, you've already said, and it's out there. So I know, but what? Yeah, it's true. But the thing is, I I don't listen back to stuff that I've done. But what I do do is I have a memory. You know, I can remember what has happened during that three hours or two hours or one hour, and I go by how I feel. And if I don't feel good about it, and it doesn't feel right, then I will perhaps delete it. It's, it, it happens sometimes. I try not to delete something um, that I put effort into because that's, you know, that's a lot of it's an hour's work. That's, that's foolish. Well, I try not to, but occasionally, like that one, um, I was asked not to put it on YouTube, and I thought, well, I'll just get rid of it. And well, if somebody, if somebody complains and doesn't feel well with it, then of course you have to remove it. But overall, seriously, um, don't don't work yourself up over your own doings here so much, because you're not Howard Stern, and you know how much uh, he gives a about it. Yeah. He gets away with anything. I don't understand. You know, he puts he puts people on blast so hard. And a lot of of, uh, of celebrities he has put on blast and his shows have run out with tears and everything. Yeah, but he's... I think when you get to the point where you're the highest paid... I think he's amongst the most highest paid entertainers in he the world. He has his own radio network. I mean, he's on... I think Oprah Winfrey is probably the only person maybe... Uh, what's her name? The blonde teacher got her own TV show. Ellen. Ellen. I probably Ellen. I imagine she's probably higher up than him, but they're all earning hundreds of millions a year, probably. Uh, uh, Howard Stern. Oh, I think Howard Stern has become very. Uh, by now, he has become very marginal. As in, oh, he'll he be. He has this cult following, but he's not. He's he's just who he is, and that's why he has. Still but he's mega that. rich, though. He earns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. But I'm that's... sure he's got more in a bank account than most celebrities. He's not relevant anymore. But what what I was going to say is, he puts people on blast, and then they run out very, very offended and crying and hurt. And I would enjoy it. I would enjoy being hip there. And he would ask me about horribly embarrassing stuff like, did you shit re did you shit yourself one times in the middle of the city, and did you walk home and to everybody visibly, uh, did you saw your uh, why do people run out and cry about it? It's 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 nothing offensive. You know, what is if, that? If, would if you are if you are a clean, okay. If you think think about it this way, would yeah. think of a question and then ask yourself: Would you ask that question to someone that you really like on a first date in a restaurant? You're sitting there. Would you say, oh, "By the way, have you ever sold your pants whilst in the city?" walking along and then you have to walk home and everyone's seen it dripping down your leg. By the way, what you, what, what you having to do? Do you want to have a drink? You can have a drink? Um, you I, know. Would, I would probably ask that, but I would, um, I would uh, spare the person from ruining her mood by telling me her um, pathetic experience. I would tell her how I did it and how I managed <laughs> with it. But that, that... And then I would ask her if she's still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you still... say that again? Just say that word. Are you still hungry? Go on. Are you still hungry? Go on, say it again. It's but a bit softly like you said there. Do, do you want to jerk off to it? or? <laughs> that was funny. This, God. Is not, this is not a full sex session. <laughs> that 
costs a bit more. <laughs> it's just funny the way I used to hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I used to hungry. It's right. like I've have, I've had uh, I have changed my uh, English to a way where I don't say room anymore. I say room all the time. I'm in my room, room, and and, and people. Uh, I think it's it's uh, it's a. It's not the usual way, but I keep saying I'm in my room. You know, well, that, it's room. Well, I think and that's a really, really boring way to end. I think that's a boring yeah. topic about how you say the word room. That's a good way to end this boring session. Yes. So, do you, I'm going to label this as 107. Let 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 me bore you to sleep. Do you want me to, in brackets, put um, yeah, with featuring featuring uh, featuring Sebastian uh, Sebastian, who is the audible shall diabetic I just, coma? Shall I just put featuring Sebastian? Yeah, of course, I was in there. Okay, but don't forget, the idea is to have more than one call, and ho- hopefully not you. <laughs> So I'm not. I don't want to be have to mention every single person, but no one else called in. So it's 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 really it's really it's really a thing. Uh, <laughs> dare I say? Dare I say that you seem to have the wrong audience? Why are they so fearful of you calling you? They should just. I think it's because people are used to just listening, and. Yeah. Most of the people that listen to me that don't listen to me live, my biggest audience is in America, and they're awake right now. So it's. Oh, by the way, I'm very happy that you still have and enjoy my uh, little photo montage of you. Yeah, well, I just thought it's, it's a ch- time to change and put a different, different picture up. I, I felt I felt pleased with it. Yes, I. You've had a few comments on there, so. You seem yeah. to have pleased other people as well. It's, uh, I think it was it was the best thing I've done so far in that regard because it wasn't. Well, in your uh, life, it was it was hinting at your homosexuality in an adequate manner, but it was not too uh, demeaning. Dressing me up as Liberace is is probably a little bit more than a hint, possibly. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go say, say goodbye, Sebastian. Uh, Goodbye, everybody, and uh, if you would like to have uh, a date with me, and if you are under the age of uh, 50 or something, you can always write me and hit me up, ladies. Uh, nah. Oh, ladies, just ladies, doesn't, okay. Doesn't matter, because uh, all the ladies that you know that are actually interesting for me are already married and off with their heads right on that note I'm going to say goodbye this is Jason Newland could you want to say the website www.jasonnewland.com oh I'm going to do I'm going to do a little voice I need to do a little jingle I'm going to get a jingle I I would I would I have one if, uh, but that's exactly um what what Frank Sidebottom already did for himself. So if I just would play that and sing that for you, it would be just like imitating him. It you know? needs to be different. I need to do something original. I got. Did I tell you I've got um, a ukulele? The thing is, oh, can you play it? No. It's simple. Well, I've got it's one. Simple. I got it two weeks ago, and I've not. I've not. Ah. I've not looked at it yet. See, there's a hobby for you. You can easily learn how to play simple chords and then you can uh, imagine it if you would play and sing along I mean you don't you don't sound like shit when you sing yeah. you sing very good and if you would play you know you could have just said it, you could have just said you sing very good you didn't have to put you don't sound like shit when you sing well th- that's a common word I can use it but if you have <laughs> No, even kids, even kids at at age five say that. No, um, I'm talking about you. Didn't have to say I was rub. I'm not. You're not absolutely completely yeah, rubbish. You're, you're not. You're not. You're not. No, you're not. You're not even complete. You're far from rubbish with your voice. So, <sighs> um, then with a the ukulele, you could play along, and and that could give you people on YouTube. Well, you're not. Uh, 
you're not 19 anymore and you don't belong with a big um with big uh, <clears throat> so uh, perhaps not but yeah you could but you need to to, to uh devote yourself to it you need to focus on it and keep at it you should do a singing channel on youtube it would I'm just, I've decided I'm not going to do different channels. I'm just going to have one channel uh, and just add whatever I do, just put it all into the same channel. Yeah. It's just well, I can't be bothered with doing different channels. It's too complicated. You said earlier, don't, you, don't do anything. That's, no, it was someone else said that. But I want to Yeah, but, but also, also YouTube isn't making it too easy to maintain different channels at the same I time know, I know. you need to switch you need to switch addresses and everything it's just horrible yeah well uh well i worked so, out it's going to be five years before i'm back where i was with five hundred thousand views it's going to take me about five years to get back to where i was when i was successful you had it in your hands. Not five thousand, five hundred thousand. Yeah. It was it was it was nobody else. You only have yourself to blame. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not moaning. I'm just saying that. That's, I didn't do anything. <laughs> it was you. I mean, no. I mean, I mean. If you ever, if you ever wake up to your channel on YouTube being completely replaced by. Um, documentaries about certain British... Okay, we'll end it there. So, thank you. uh, Celebrities and... and, and Thank you very much, Sebastian, for joining us. So that's the end of this recording. I'm going to go now before you end your sentence. Should I say your website again? Yeah, go on then. www.exotictrennies.co.uk (sighs) <sighs> See, that's why I can't trust you. <laughs> I can't trust you on these live sessions. Didn't you? Didn't you see that coming by a mile? I never know. I can't. I can't predict what I'm going to say. Never mind what anyone else is going to say. Well, I'm going to go now because it's getting w- late. www.jasonnoland.com. Dot com. Com. Dot com. Dot com. Yes. You, you say. You say it. D O C K O M dot com dot com yeah dot com dot com. All right, yeah. I'm going to go. Well, thank you for joining me on this it special this special edition of Let Me Bore You to Sleep. It lifted my mood. Yeah, I think it lifted mine as well. Actually, uh, yeah. lifted something. So, <laughs> I. Th- <laughs> please not. Please not. So I shall speak to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Right. Well, that was Sebastian. And luckily, he's gone just in time because I've only got 11% left on my phone. So I have to go and plug that in in a minute. Whew. So. I suppose all I've got to say is thank you for listening. It's been a bit of a different <laughs> a different session compared to last night and compared to the night before. I suppose in a way I'm looking for to find different ways of doing the same thing. Uh, maybe I'm trying to fix something that isn't broken. <laughs> I thought I might be one of them people never satisfied but I did find it very interesting when Sebastian was talking and I I had to just say because it was so boring it's like is this really what it's like listening to me because I can't listen back to myself I rarely the only time I listen back to myself is when there's like a really loud noise and I have to listen back to uh, edit that sound out of the recording uh But yeah, it's like, wow, that was, so yeah, this is something different. Uh, Let us know what you thought. Of course, I'm not responsible for what anybody else says. So any 
naughty words that Sebastian might have said is his responsibility, not mine. And if you're offended, I kind of don't care um, if I'm honest, but it's just, there's no point because you know, it's, this is a lighthearted show and it's, you know, nothing to be taken seriously, really. It's just, just to relax and be calm. And, you know, that's what I'm about. That's what I try to be about. Um, so that brings us to the end of another of these Let Me Boy to Sleep. I will be back probably tomorrow with something. It's, uh, I need to do a deep sleep whisper because I haven't done one for two days and I was getting in the routine of doing it at a specific time but because I've been in bed all day I've kind of lost uh, lost the interest but I've used my energy I feel fairly okay today because I've used my energy um, for doing this for doing the only thing that I really care about is um, making recordings to try and help people and although a lot of people would listen to this and think well how the hell is that helping anyone but those that know really know you understand um, and to be fair I didn't even know until I was told how different ways that this can be useful uh, not just for those that uh, would like to fall asleep but also and I've mentioned this yesterday probably uh, and other times is also for to stop that that mind you know the mind going and blah 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 all, all that stuff that's perhaps going on internally and so it can be a distraction it can it can also be company and I think having another person also talking can it adds a little bit to that as well. It's, so yeah, you might not want you might I don't know you may prefer to have two people talking. You may prefer just to listen to him talking. Um, in which case, I'll put that suggestion to him to for him to make some recordings. And I can, he can send the MP3, and I'll ho I'll host the postcard, the podcast for him. Um, but you know, it's you know, I'll help him out because I think he's he's definitely got his own thing going there, and he does want to do something, but he wants to do it with me, which worries me because I'm not quite sure what it is. No, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. He, it's. We're kind of like a bit of a bouncy castle together sometimes and we've had these conversations where it's just me and him talking on our own you know not being recorded and we thought you know what we'll just talk for an hour and we could have recorded that so that's a recording that's a session we could have had then instead of just coming at the end of it and it's been a pointless conversation we could have recorded it and actually made it useful and maybe I'm thinking about things in a this is just the way my brain works okay so I'm not saying that having conversations with people is pointless if it's not recorded because obviously that's it's a bit of a weird thing if you start going around recording conversations unless of course you're uh, working undercover for the CID or I don't know whatever but I just think that I don't know I like to do things that are useful it just it just to be part of something I like to feel a bit more part of something that what I'm doing there's a point to what I'm doing so instead of just sitting down talking, I don't feel like anything's been achieved from that. Although there probably has been, it's probably, you know, it's healthy to have human contact and conversations and interaction and all that stuff. But 
you know, I would quite like to just record everything and stick it on online. Of course I won't, although I have started taking my phone out with me and recording when I go take Andre for a walk sometimes, just to catch the sound of the wind and catch the sound of the birds and, you know, but uh, then I delete it afterwards and never upload it or anything. Because like sometimes another dog person, a dog walker would come and say hello. So I turn it off. But I suppose I get something from talking to myself. Although it's to you, but it's also to myself, sort of realistically, in the moment. But then if I do a live recording, it feels like I am actually talking to you now. Because I kind of am, aren't I? I'm talking to you in this moment. And also for those of you that listen afterwards, which is most of the people at the moment, there's that situation. But you know what? Perhaps perhaps if I can get my head around doing it kind of I'm just like talking out loud really talking out loud thinking out loud I'm talking internally I'm using my mouth and um, I'm thinking if I can get some kind of routine going where it's the same time every day or every other day. It doesn't have to be every day. It could be Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. It could be once a week, a live, let me bore you to sleep once a week. Uh, you know, every Saturday night at midnight or at 10 or 11. Actually, I don't want to do 10 because I watch boxing when it's on. So maybe 12 till 2 every Saturday. Or maybe Saturday afternoon so that I can reach the American audience live. And then maybe do that once a week for a few months to see if I get a live audience come along and join in. And then I can look at maybe spreading it, spreading my legs and doing more. Maybe... Uh, twice a week or you know so maybe that's what it is maybe instead of trying to do every day every night of every week for three hours which is a huge um, quite unrealistic task at the moment to maybe do a two hour slot once a week on a Saturday, 12 till two. And then I can kind of prepare for it. And I can say every to everyone throughout the week, just remember, I've got a live, let me bore you to sleep, live show on at midnight, or even it could be in the afternoon early evening, whatever time it is, Saturday at this time. So it could be Saturday at, let's say at midnight till two, every Saturday, UK time. And you'll see who tunes in and go from there. Maybe have Sebastian on a game, maybe, maybe block him on Facebook so he never knows when it's gonna be on. You know, there's lots of different options. Um, so maybe I'm saying maybe a lot perhaps let me know what you think and what you would like because I don't know if this is something that is useful every every night uh, I think the, the standard let me bore you to sleep tedious uh, boring stuff that I do I think that's perhaps more useful in some ways. 
but maybe once a week uh, would be nice for an opportunity to have a, an interaction, like a like a group hug. Perhaps have it on here and also have it on Facebook at the same time. So video and audio. So I record it on here and, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, see how I feel, see what happens. Um, but please let me know what you think. And uh, that's it. So thank you very much for listening, for watching, for being part of the show. Even those that are watching afterwards, or listening rather, afterwards. You're part of this, and you're the reason I'm doing this. And I appreciate all your support. And also those of you on, on YouTube as well, for your kind words. I've had a lot of kind words this week from people telling me uh, that they like what I do and thanking me for still doing it after all these years. So I do appreciate your support. So I've got people that have been... I mean, someone on YouTube said he's been following me since 2011. And, you know, that's what, 18, 18 years, eight years. In case you don't, can't do the subtraction. Um, I was pleased with how quickly I came up with that as well. Pleased with how quick. What was whistling when I say quickly? Apart from when I say quickly after I've whistled, trying to say it and whistle, it doesn't happen. Quickly, quick, quickly, quickly. Uh, Right, I'm going to go. Thank you very much for for just thank you for listening. Thank you for being you, and remember to be kind to yourself. Take care. Bye. And Andre sends his love as well. <laughs>